Hey there folks, good afternoon. It's uh, another sunny October day. And I thought I'd just take a moment here to show you the fencing we started using this year. Oh, this is uh, the mixed metal polybraid from Powerflex that Greg Judy recommended. We picked that up this spring along with these um, O'Brien tread in posts. They've got the, the, uh, the little steps, the little foot, foot pedals, or whatever, to push in. You just, you know, just, you just lift it up and then push it down with your foot. Um, so, um, and then the ply braid on, in, right ne on this section is on one of these um, mini reels that we got from Ken Cove fencing, um, and they are super cheap. This was recommended by, oh, what's his name? I'm going to forget his name. Uh, shoot, I can't remember his name at the top of my mind. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, but these are super cheap. They're like 12 bucks. Um, they're slow to unwind. But we like, you know, we are often doing 100 foot wide paddocks. So, so for a 100 foot wide paddock, um, we can break that up into segments using 300 feet, since we're doing three strands, um, 300 feet on a mini reel, which will hold 600 feet. Um, it's very full and hard to work with when it's full, but 300 feet works very well. And so back and forth three times on a 100 foot wide paddock, um, gives us <clears throat> a nice, easy to move section of fence. It's about what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight posts or so. Um, and just takes a few minutes to set up. And so we can just, you know, I'm about to move the animals there back there. I'm about to move them into here. And then tomorrow while I'm on the road, Sarah will move them into here. And uh, we've got on the edges, we've got these, uh, we've got uh, 1,300 feet on on um, a bigger reels, the three to one reels that the polybreed comes on, from on, uh, from Powerflex. Um, and so that those bigger reels allow us to do longer s sections of fence. Um, I think we're doing about two, is it? Uh, I guess we're doing, is it 400 feet times three? I have to think about that for a minute. Um, anyway, I just want, oh, and then the last detail here that we figured out, we, we didn't want to spring for the power posts that you use to hang reels. So this is what we do is two treaded in posts and a white fiberglass posts you can hang a big reel or a small reel um, or even you know add a add more tread in posts and you can hang multiple reels from one from one fiberglass post um, and it's pretty easy to put together and easy to take apart easy to move and it's made up of all the parts that you know, you're building your fence with anyway, other than the fiberglass post, which we have plenty of because that's the type of post we were using before we got the tread in post. Um, and we keep a bunch of them kicking around and they're kind of always moving around with us. And there's always seems to be one within reach or not too far away. <clears throat> well, uh, I'm gonna uh, walk over to the animals and we'll let them in.
Oh yeah, one more piece of the fence is we really like these alligator clamps to make connecting the fences together really simple. Now you can see, I'm just bring that back up and come off. And you can see these guys and girls are ready to move and our steers and cow are hanging back. That's great. And come on! Separate the. I'm gonna shut this so that I can keep the steers out. And we'll go get Brownie the cow and walk her over and let her in. And we'll let everybody else in. Oh, you can see they, they've left behind some grass here, some kind of you know stubble, but it's bites for these cows. There's more there. Uh, we are grazing this kind of low this time of year. It's the end of the season. It's the last time we'll be here until some, you know May next year. What are you eating, Brownie, huh? Who knows, huh? Okay, girl, come on. Let's go for a walk. Ah, that's my foot! Oh, that, you got that on camera. Wow, you got my foot, girl. Ow. All right, come on. Whoa. Come on. Oh, that doesn't happen very often. Oh, you don't want to walk away from your babies? They're coming behind you, so we better be quick. Brownie's good cow. We just had the vet come today to preg check her. We tried to do some AI last month and it did not take so now we get to try again we don't have a bull on site so well it's you know seems like what makes the most sense is doing ai don't know that for a fact but um at the moment that's what we're doing all right girl Oh, some nice green grass. And you boys get to stay over there. So that we can get some milk from you later, from her. Okay, and that's all hooked up. Davy is Saying, hey, what the heck? Why am I on this side of the fence? That's come off. Go ahead and put it back. And Billy, he's like, what the heck? And we'll just zoom over here and put these boys and girls in. There's our water with the float valve to keep to keep it full of water all the time. Hooked up to our 2,000 feet of 
water line that we move around. Uh, we're just kind of getting towards the end of that season where that's going to work for us. And I don't know, we'll probably be go back to hauling water to them. Uh, but such is life in a freezing climate. So they're coming in. Yeah. Walk around a little bit. Timmy's not afraid to come on in. They're gonna come on in and they're gonna walk around and see what's left for them to bite at. And Jack and Elsie. You guys can head on over. Alright, now we shut this. I'll disconnect the water. Move the hose down to the next water point. And move the water, hook that up. Uh, and I guess I probably should go get some minerals. I think the bucket is in the barn empty. Well, that's it for today's uh, animal move. Like, like I said, just gotta move the water and get some mineral and I'll be going in, get some supper soon. It's getting to be that time. Uh, well, thanks for joining me today, folks. And, uh, Keep watching if you're enjoying seeing what we're doing here at Jackson Regenerational Farm. Um, share it, like it, comment. Um, let me know that you see this. Uh, okay, appreciate it. Have a good one.